Hello everyone, welcome to BIMmodeler.com. In this video tutorial, you will be learning uh, how to create a table, which is uh, especially from the Fertile Fergulo group, uh, which is uh, available uh, in this website. Uh, we are making a family for their website. So uh, we just gone through this website. It is wonderful website. They have wonderful product. And we did not see that they have uh, Revit families. And we, we will be able to download the 3D models of DWG from their website. And we will be able to make it families. We have made a couple of families as you know that we are providing BIM modeling services. And one of the services that we are offering Revit families for different manufacturers. So you can go and log in and download it as free. So you can come to this uh, search page after uh, download page. You can go and search it uh, with the company name that uh, you will be able to find eight families of this company and you will be able to download free and use it. So do let me know if you have any other uh, manufacturer doesn't have uh, Revit families. We will be able to make it a couple of sample families for them and you can host it free. So with that, uh, one of the families, how do we create it as uh, as an exercise that I'm going to show you today. So let's say uh, we have this table from the same same manufacturers and I have inserted a DWG file in the furniture category. So I can save this family as control S and to the desktop and I can save this family as table. I can go ahead and back up and save it. So I like to have uh, this uh, leg first to go to the front view and I will be able to do uh, as similar to this as much as possible to make it this video as short. I'll be creating faster. So revolve, I'll be able to go ahead and create the object that I see it uh, from this corner. And I'm going to make the revolve place since this is a geometry which is uh, I'm going to draw it as tutorial purpose it will be a um, much much uh, less detailed and much faster it may be may not be uh, accurate as as, uh, as if it, is, it was given so do let me know if you have any uh, commands and uh, I'll be able to address it in the later session. So these two objects are different. We can see it and we can create a two different objects for this and uh, to tutorial purpose that I'm creating a single object. We have to have a middle line so that it will be easy for us to align it with this line. And we can draw a single line from here. And trim and extend TR, which is this command. And this line, as you know, that is there are basic tutorials available in our website uh, in the YouTube. You'll be able to go through those and uh, you'll be able to understand how to recreate the elements so that's it so if you see that the uh, 3d so the basic geometry which is created and uh, we have to have this uh, top side uh, this portion so I'll, i like to go to the 3d and i like to make it uh, uh, hutch hutch uh, hutch is a temporary hide option which is hide element this option and i can go ahead and uh, do state work plane and pick a plane and I can pick it on the top side of this and I will be able to uh, make it HR which is this option uh, we will be able to release the option so then we will be able to draw it, uh, this object in 3d using the pick line like this since we have picked the top portion of the revolve we will be able to 
we can finish this and we'll be able to see the extrude going up till the end and we can change this till only bottom of the table top so this is a very simple geometry i don't want to draw any uh, holes inside and uh, let it be as it is and we can select all these object two objects together and go to the front view and we'll be able to see the center line we can use the mirror axis and we can hide it and move it to the right so i have not aligned it properly let it be as it is we can move it together to the left side to the right okay so once it is done go to the 3d and we'll be able to see it uh, the objects are aligned and we can create our 3d geometry uh, based out of the same object or we can draw it in the flow plan so that it will come in rolling inside on the ground and we can take the 3d arc and i'm clicking the approximately because these objects are spline objects we won't be able to click it properly in the corner and i'm just trying as much as possible to match with the existing surface so if it requires you can manually uh, draw it one by one or use the spline line for the extrude so that it will be matching exactly the same in your system so once uh, I'm, i'll be going and mirroring it with the opposite side you can see that there is a difference and uh, we will be able to create another arc from this corner to the other corner There is a spline needed that that we have to do it according to the plan okay so i'm leaving it to you so you decide it and uh, go ahead with the spline or go ahead with the uh, arc you can do it so i'm going to select this and going to mirror this to the other side and i make sure that these all are joined together and see there is no dodge it means it's connected hint this going to the front view and as i said it's in the ground we can stretch it to the ground like this so this is non-parametric family that we have created for this uh, manufacturer and these geometries enough time we will be able to delete this portion of it and uh, we will be able to select the top and we can go to the material option and assign label top select ok and hh select the remaining object and we can say new material I'm going to assign the same material, but you can also differentiate the two, and we'll be able to do it here. And I'm going here to the default material, and I'm going to apply material Y. Or if you have it in your library, you can go ahead and search for white paint. have applied to the leg only you will be able to go ahead and copy this and paste it and both the objects will be so we can go ahead and to the identity data so we will be able to uh, go to the manufacturer's website and to the table copy the url and we will be able to type url here i'm going to create another parameter say created by the common text value I'm going to go under identity data and say model dot new model dot com so if it is needed we can add a parameter for length and width so at the moment uh, for the purpose of this i'm just adding it so uh, i hope uh, 
uh, this tutorial helped you so hope uh, you can share it with your learning friends and you can practice as simple as you two families you can make it your own own use of home it will help you to learn uh, how to make revit tutorials revit uh, furnitures and other components do let me know if you need any other families need some lessons and uh, you can go to bimodeler.com to download and do let me know so if you have any bimodeling service request you can work with that and you can download it as much as possible uh, so my contact number is there up there you can contact me regarding any trainings or any bim services bimod services we can 